What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're talking about the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, and a big shout out to Huawei for making this video possible, but let's dig a little deeper and see what this guy's all about. As far as specifications go, the model I'm using packs the Kirin 970 octa-core processor, a whopping six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. This guy has a water resistance rating of IP67 as well, but around the front, we have a pretty nice looking six inch AMOLED display with a full HD plus resolution, which is actually 1080 by 2160. Admittedly, the resolution here is a little weird and it's not exactly on the same high resolution as let's say like the Galaxy Note 8 or something, but the display looks awesome. So with the Mate 10 Pro, we have a bit of a different design when compared to the standard model, but they're both very premium, so let's not get that wrong. The Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro is basically glass sandwiching a metal frame, just like every other 2017 flagship out there, and it feels great in the hand, but even the Gorilla Glass 5 on the backside and the front side is not going to protect this thing from drops. You drop this guy, and you could almost expect to get a crack or two. That being said, this is definitely one of Huawei's best looking phones to date. I like this design a lot, and it just feels great all around. So let's have a little conversation about the software on this guy. I love the fact that it's running Android 8.0 Oreo, which is awesome, but I really dislike Huawei's software. It's not that anything specifically is wrong with it, it just feels a little dated to me. And really we've had the same software design on Huawei phones for the past few years. Nothing has really changed on that front. In a very weird comparison, EMUI really reminds me of like iOS 6 or something. It just feels really dated as far as the icon designs go. But that's not to say that the software is unusable. It's totally usable. It even freaking packs an IR blaster, which is awesome to see these days. I'm just not a big fan of it. This year, Huawei did implement a pretty neat little desktop mode, which allows you to use an adapter from USB-C to HDMI and plug it into a computer monitor and use it kind of like that. But app support, Eh, is kind of iffy at best and to be honest it's nothing in comparison to what Samsung does with DeX. So let's talk about one of the bigger changes here on the backside we have our camera setup. We have a dual camera system as you would probably expect these days but we have a 12 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f1.6 and optical image stabilization and then there is a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor. So the photos from this camera are sharp, almost too sharp if you ask me, but that doesn't mean that it's not capable of taking great pictures in most any situation. Another neat trick with the camera is that because it's powered by AI, it can actually recognize different objects you're taking pictures of and adjust the settings accordingly. So Huawei has a pretty cool manual mode that will allow you to access tons of settings if that's your thing. And there's also a portrait mode and a wide aperture mode. The portrait mode will allow for some pretty cool photos on the front camera and the rear camera though in my experience the front facing portrait mode has been kind of iffy at best while the wide aperture mode will allow you to adjust the focus on photos after the fact like i said though the camera on this guy is definitely a very strong contender and i recommend checking out the gallery that i have left linked below for you if you want to see full resolution photos for yourself now as far as battery life goes with the mate 10 pro this thing packs a 4000 milliamp hour battery inside which definitely spells out an easy six hours of screen on time, even up to seven in some cases, making this one of the best Android flagships that I've tested as far as battery life goes. Now, in case you run low on juice, there is quick charging here as well, which works pretty fast as you would expect. Sadly, no wireless charging, but 4,000 milliamp hours is pretty insane. So the bottom line is that the Huawei Mate 10 is definitely a phone to consider for 2017 flagships. And I have to say it's it's a pretty awesome phone despite its shortcomings in specific areas I definitely recommend checking out for yourself unfortunately and I don't know why they haven't caught on to this yet but it's not releasing in every country at the same time there's a lot of countries that's gonna come into first it's not gonna be in the US for a little while that kind of saddens my soul but let me know what you think about the Huawei mate 10 Pro in the comments section below and if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more phone reviews like this in the future Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.